Hello, Sparks. Welcome to another week of Awana. I cannot wait to talk about this week's verse with you. But first, how did you do on last week's verse, all right? I know that a lot of you had a lot of different verses going on. Wing Runner, you guys especially had a pretty big verse last week, right? But I hope you worked hard on it. I hope you're able to say it flawlessly now, whether you're in Hang Glider, Wing Runner, or Sky Stormer, okay? And I hope that you're able to come into the Awana store this Sunday to get your 10 Awana shares and buy some really cool stuff because we're having the Awana store sale right now. That's right, this Sunday, the 13th of December, we are having the Awana store sale. And there are so many awesome things that are half off. That's right, so stuff that costs $100, they cost 50 now. Stuff that costs 50 Awana shares, well, they now cost like 30 or 25 or 20. I mean, we got some incredible things going on, all right? And not only that, but we have things here that you can buy for your parents or your brothers and sisters for Christmas. So use some of those Awana shares to give to others, right? I mean, this is going to be incredible. So we can't wait to see you this Sunday the 13th. And not only that, we're extending the Awana store sale by another week. So the 13th and the 20th, you can come in and get so many awesome prizes. We can't wait to see you there. Now, boys and girls, I have a few updates that I want to share with your parents. So if your parents aren't in the room with you right now or aren't watching with you right now, can you go get them for me, please? All right? Hey, parents. I got some really exciting news for you guys. We have some awesome things happening here at New England Bible Church over the next few months. First of all, we have a big event coming up January the 8th. That's a Friday night. It's a ceramics night. Yeah, so like painting pottery and stuff like that. We would love to see you there. We're going to have tables set up and your family can come and paint pottery together and do things like that. Uh, we just ask that you let us know ahead of time whether or not you're coming, all right? So if you're planning on coming, let us know how many people you're bringing so we can properly socially distance you, all right? And also, let us know how many people in your family plan to paint, all right? Maybe it's just your kids, maybe it's the whole family. We need to know that so we can make sure we have plenty of paint for everybody and plenty of ceramics for everybody. And this doesn't just have to be people who are involved in Awana. This could be anybody at NEBC. No, not just them either. It could be anybody in the world. So if you have anybody that you want to come with you to be a part of this, we would love to have them, all right? But just let us know how many people are coming, and we can't wait to see you there once again Friday, January 8th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. And one final thing to let you know about. We have some super exciting kids ministry news to let you know about what's happening in 2021. We got some awesome things planned. I can't wait to tell you about it, all right? But expect an update to come out in your email or in your YouTube feed sometime next week, all right? Can't wait to tell you more about that, but just know exciting things are about to happen at the very beginning of 2021. It's going to be great, all right? So, boys and girls, thank you for waiting patiently while I talk to your parents. Are you ready for this week's verse? All right, real quick, we've got to talk about what everybody's learning this week, right? Because, uh, once again, depending on what book you're in for Sparks, you're doing something different. Like, if you're in Hang Glider, you just finished all that stuff on Genesis 1. Good for you, great job. Now you're on Romans 3.23, another really great verse. Wing Runner, you guys are on, I forgot actually, ah, yep, that's right. You guys are finishing up Psalm 23 this week. Congratulations. I cannot wait to hear you say Psalm 23 all by yourself. That's really cool. Plus, you're learning 1 Peter 5.7. So, great job. And then we come to you guys, Skystormer. This is your verse, Luke 19.10. Are you ready to learn it together? Boys and girls, no matter what verse you're learning this week, no matter what, you're, what book you're in, I hope that this video can encourage you and can uh, give you something to help you out with your verse memorization this week, all right? So Luke 19, verse 10. Everybody together, you ready? Luke 19, 10. For the Son of Man has come to seek and save that which was lost. Oh, okay. Now, a few interesting words here to point out. First of all, we got the Son of Man. Do you have any idea who the Son of Man might be? Starts with a J. 
ends with an Jesus. Jesus, right? That's the Son of Man. So, for Jesus came to seek and save that which was lost. What does it mean to seek something? Well, if you seek something, you look for something. So if you can't find your sneakers in the morning and you're trying to find them really quickly so you can put them on and run outside, you're seeking for your sneakers. Seek for the sneakers. See what I did there? It's a little fun. Anyways, all right. And then lastly, we have seek and save that which was lost. Ooh, boys and girls, this is what I'm using my red marker for. You know, that's a bad one. All right. What does it mean to be lost? It means somebody who don't know, <laughs> doesn't know Jesus. Here, I'll put don't know Jesus just for fun, all right? Somebody who doesn't know Jesus. So, for Jesus has come to look for and save that which doesn't know Jesus, all right? Now, that's a lot of fancy words and it's nice. It's actually pretty short. Sky Stormers, I think you'll be able to learn this one pretty easy. But why did this verse even exist? I mean, who said it? Why did they say it? Well, let me tell you a story, and I think you know this story already. If you don't, I hope you enjoy it. There once was a man named Zacchaeus. Now, people say that Zacchaeus was a wee little man, as you've probably heard. Zacchaeus was fairly short. Now, he maybe was your height, but probably he was a little bit taller than your height. But still, I'm 6'2". He probably was right around here, maybe a little shorter. Well, Zacchaeus, not only was he a wee little man or a sh short guy, he's what they call a tax collector. Now, tax collectors back in Jesus' day, they weren't the most fun people to be around because they would end up just taking things from other people. So imagine that you had a bunch of toys, right? And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you want to keep those toys, I need to have mm, most of them. <laughs> I need to have most of your toys, but you can keep these few. That's what tax collectors ended up doing. They had to collect money from everybody in the land and then send it to Rome, all right? Now, that's a lot of fancy words, but you get the idea. You wouldn't like it if somebody was taking your stuff and then giving it to somebody else. You'd like it even less if somebody came and took your stuff because they said they were going to give it to somebody else, but they only gave part of it to somebody else and kept a lot of your toys for themselves. You definitely wouldn't like that. And that's why people didn't like Zacchaeus. Is because Zacchaeus, he was stealing from people. Nobody likes somebody who steals from them. So you had Zacchaeus. He was stealing from people, but he was kind of upset with himself. He had all this stuff, all this money and all these things, a really nice house, all that. But he felt kind of sad. Something didn't seem right. It wasn't enough. And he kind of got the impression that maybe he shouldn't have been stealing from all these people. Well, he heard that Jesus was coming. And he was like, oh, wow, I've heard about Jesus. He does all these miracles. He teaches all these really cool lessons. I would love to get to meet Jesus, but Jesus wouldn't want to hang out with somebody like me because I've done really bad things. He doesn't want to spend time with me. I, I wish he would come to my house, but he can't come to my house because if he goes to my house, then everybody's going to say that he's a bad guy, and, and I get it. He wouldn't want to be seen with somebody like me. But he still kind of wanted to see Jesus. So Jesus came through town, and everybody in the town wanted to see Jesus. They lined the streets like a big parade. And everybody's standing there at this big parade looking for Jesus. And Zacchaeus, he's, he's kind of short, so he's trying to look over people's shoulders, but he can't see Jesus. So you know what he does, right? He climbs up in a tree. Do you like climbing trees? I love climbing trees. That was one of my favorite things to do when I was your age. Well, Zacchaeus, he climbed a tree out of necessity. He needed to see Jesus. He had to see Jesus. So he climbs up into the tree 
And he's looking down, trying to see Jesus, because he couldn't see him otherwise. He couldn't look over people's shoulders. And nobody was going to let Zacchaeus get in front of him, because they didn't like this guy who was stealing from them. But Jesus, as he's walking through the street, he looked up and he said, Hey, Zacchaeus, what you doing up there, man? And Zacchaeus was like, Whoa, Jesus is talking to me. Well, I can't believe it. He knows my name. He's talking to me? Like, I can't believe he would want to talk to somebody like me. I've, I've done such bad things. And Jesus says, hey, Zacchaeus, man, you got to come down from the tree. Because I'm going to go to your house. you got to let me in the front door. And Zacchaeus could not believe it. Guys, listen. Nobody would go hang out with Zacchaeus. Nobody would spend time with him. Everybody really didn't like Zacchaeus because he took things from them. And Zacchaeus was used to being alone and having people not like him. This is a big deal. That Jesus, of all people, would want to spend time with Zacchaeus. And so Jesus, he went to Zacchaeus' house and he said, The Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Zacchaeus was one of those people that was lost, who had been doing things that were wrong and it didn't bring them any happiness. They knew there was something more. And Jesus went out and personally came to them, even when those people didn't think that he would want anything to do with them. Boys and girls, I don't know what you've done wrong in your past. I don't know if you've done a few things wrong or a bunch of things wrong. But here's the thing. Jesus loves all of us the same. It doesn't matter how much wrong we've done or how much right we've done. Jesus loves all of us equally and wants all of us to be part of God's family. So even a guy like Zacchaeus, who nobody liked because he was very mean and took away people's things, Jesus loved him and wanted him to be a part of God's family. Even though the people in God's own family didn't like Zacchaeus yet. Boys and girls... God wants you to be a part of his family as well. But not only that, there might be people that you don't like. And God wants them to be part of his family as well. Can I tell you one more cool thing about Zacchaeus before we wrap this up? You know what Zacchaeus said? Zacchaeus said, Jesus, I'm so happy that you came to my house today. That you would spend time with me, even though I had done such bad things. That I'm going to give it all back. Everything that I took away... I'm giving it all back to the people that I, took it, that I took from me. And not only that, I'm not just going to return the things that I took. I'm going to give them more than I took. That's what Jesus does in people's life. He makes them feel welcomed. He makes them feel at home. And then he causes real change in their lives where they want to do what's right. I hope that you've experienced that. If you haven't, I hope that you talk to your parents about it so you can learn more about it. But also, I hope that you would pray for some people who maybe are a little mean to you or maybe you don't like for some reason. And I hope that you can love them just like Jesus loves them. And I hope that one day we get to celebrate with them just like we'll celebrate with Zacchaeus one day in heaven. Boys and girls, Good luck on this verse. Good luck on all your verses, all right? Can't wait to see you at the Iwana store this week, and we will see you in next week's video. Bye.